from giant pumpkins to industrial hemp, even donut hamburgers. We're talking about the Kentucky State Fair and when it opens up next week, eyes focus on a wide variety of topics from the traditional to things that some may find controversial or even downright bizarre. But each is finding itself as a key aspect of an important industry to the Commonwealth's economy. So today, WHAS 11's political editor Chris Williams has been talking with the Agriculture Commissioner Ryan Quarles for an interview you'll only see right here. Chris? Renee Doug, Commissioner Quarles admits that this time last year he was quite nervous as he approached his first state fair as Ag Commissioner after a lifetime of competing and taking part in the expo described by some as the Super Bowl for farm kids. Quarles, a farm kid himself, now leads the department and is involved in the national conversation, having offered insight advising the Donald Trump campaign last summer. My favorite part is getting to connect with our youth and saying congratulations. Commissioner Quarles and his team are making final preparations for the fair, which expects to welcome more than a half million people to Louisville from August 17th to 27th. This is a tradition spanning generations for some families, not just displaying wares, but taking in the fun and crazy food options, which the commissioner hopes to perfect this time around after admitting to gaining six pounds last year. This year, I'm doubling down with a donut burger. It's a, uh, it's a half pounder between two Krispy Kreme donuts. Uh, I wasn't able to finish it last year, but this year we're going to do it and we're going to have as much homemade ice cream as one can possibly have at the state fair. While he may reign over the fair as a goodwill ambassador, there is serious business at hand, which this year includes reacting to last month's deadly accident at the Ohio State Fair. And we'll be conducting random inspections throughout the state fair. And although we always want to make sure people have a safe and fun time, please know that the Department of Agriculture staff is doing their best uh, to make sure that the rides are properly inspected. There are also somewhat controversial topics on display with a focus on the growing market of industrial hemp. Commissioner Quarles has tripled the number of approved acres on farms focusing on it, while medical marijuana is not in the discussion. And one reason why hemp is successful in this state is because we haven't commingled it with other issues. And so in 2017, we're focused entirely on industrial hemp. So you've not taken a stance on medical marijuana? We have not. I can go online and I can learn about just about any product in Kentucky. So why do we need to put the money and the time and the effort into having a state fair? Well, number one, it is part of our state's heritage and history. It's always important for the farm community to, to come and connect with the consumers. Our conversation spanned the spectrum of politics and agriculture. We discussed immigration related agriculture issues as well as foreign trade and efforts to reduce regulation. You can see the entire conversation right now on my Facebook page. Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.